Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Beloved, all over the globe, all over the continent, hearing the sound of my voice is once again your servant, Eric Amankwa, bringing unto you hour of prayer and truth, hour of prayer and truth. I hope you are doing good and well kicking. And anybody hearing the sound of my voice once again, I greet each and every one. I bring you greetings from the from the throne room of grace. Beloved, we are yet another season, another festival that as you and I enjoy this Christmas, there is something that I want to share with you. And the theme of what I want to share with you is the intent of the soulless during this very Christmas in the year 2022. We are in the year 2022 and very soon we will be crossing over onto 2023. Beloved, just count your blessings and name them. I just want you to count your blessings for how far the Lord has brought you and I for even wallowing in the grace, wallowing in the favor, and wallowing in the peace of God. This Lord that we serve has been so good unto us. I believe in what the psalmist said in Psalm 150 verse 6. He said that let all that have bread, let all that have life, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Beloved, I know that you have life. I know that you are awake. I know that you can eat. I know that you can sleep. I know that you can rise again and say hallelujah unto God. Beloved, I know that you are well kicking. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your family. I thank God for how far the Lord has brought the church of God. Beloved, it is this God that we are worshiping this entire. There is one thing that I want to assure you. Beloved, you have not accepted Jesus Christ. As your Lord and personal Savior, I am entreating you to accept him now. Beloved, you don't know when you will die. You don't know when you will kick the bucket. You don't know when you will be caught. This is the hour. This is the time. This is the period. Beloved, I am still going back on the team. Intent of the soulless during Christmas 2022. Beloved, as we celebrate the birth of Christ... As you and I appreciate the beauty of the birth of Christ. What are the things going through your mind? What are you pondering over? What are you saying from your heart? What are you telling a friend? What are you telling a colleague? What are you telling a pastor? What are you telling that reverend minister? What are you telling that church member? Beloved, there is one thing that I want to share with you. So far as the soulless is concerned. Beloved, if I say the soulless, what I mean is that the soulless are classified as Latin phrases. That summarizes the theological beliefs that the reformers held in opposition to the teachings of the Roman Catholic Church. Beloved, these soulless are what we call the Reformation. These soulless are what the, the, uh, 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 the reformers came about. And one of the reformers is Martin Luther King. Another one was John Knox. Another one was what we call the man Ulrich Zwingli. These were the reformers. Though we had early reformers, but these were the reformers that placed much accentuation so far as the soulless are concerned. John Calvin was also part of it. Beloved, why am I saying that in this Christmas, the soulless should be our intent? Beloved, in this Christmas, you know, this solace has to be our goal. This solace has to be something that we have to meditate upon. 
And if I talk about the solace, all that I'm talking about is that they are Latin phrases, meaning that alone, meaning that alone. And if I say that alone, then what do I mean? The reformers were able to come out with these five solas, and one of them is Christians are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, as revealed by scripture alone, to the glory of God alone. These were the five solas. So as we are celebrating this Christmas, beloved, I want to share with you this solace. I want to make sure that this solace should be your hallmark. This solace should be the things that we have to meditate upon. This solace should be the things that we have to share with the family. This solace should be the things that we have to share with the body of Christ. This solace should be the things that we have to preach all over the world. Somebody hearing the sound of my voice. One of the solas is called Sola Scriptura, which means that the scripture alone should be our standard. The scripture alone should be our guide. The scripture alone should lead us. You and I can bear the, according to the scripture, he says, Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from thy law. I will bow down toward thy holy temple. Give thanks to thy name for thy loving kindness and thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word according to all thy name. You, however, continued in the things you have learned and become convinced of knowing from whom you have learned them, that from childhood you have known the sacred writings which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture, this is where the key is, all scripture is, is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Psalm 119, the verse 18. Psalm 138, the verse 2. Second Corinthians chapter 3, the verse 14 through 17. This is Sola Scriptura. Beloved, in this Christmas, let the word of God be your hallmark. Let the scripture be your hallmark in your house, in your workplace, wherever you find yourself. As we celebrate this Christmas, beloved, teach the word of God. Use it for teaching. Use it for reproof. Use, use it for correction. Use it for training, especially on the side of the youth, especially on the side of your children, especially for the church of God. Sola Scriptura in this Christmas should be your hallmark. And that is what we are all adhering to. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice is only the word of God alone that will indeed elevate us onto another dimension. Sola Scriptura. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, may the word of God fill your heart. May the word of God fill your mind. May the word of God fill your soul in this Christmas. Beloved, another sola, another sola is sola dio gloria, sola du du dio gloria, meaning that for the glory of God alone, for the glory of God alone. The scripture says that whether then you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Whoever speaks, oh, let him speak as it were, the utterances of God. Whoever serves, let him do so as by the strength which God supplies, so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belongs the glory and dominion forever and ever. He has made us to be a kingdom, priest to his God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Father, to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory, but both now and to the day of eternity. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever, blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. The key is here. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. First Corinthians 10, verse 31. 
First Peter 4, the verse 11. Revelation chapter 1, verse 6. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Ephesians chapter 3, the verse 21. Revelation 7, the verse 12. Romans chapter 11, the verse 36. Beloved, in this Christmas, it's just the glory of God alone. It's not our strength. It's not our academic laurels. It's not about worldly knowledge. It's not about worldly experience. It's about the glory of God. If we are able to dance, if we are able to wake up, if we are able to sleep and wake up again, it's, it's all about the glory of God. That is why the Bible says that for him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Meaning that if we can speak, it's just by the glory of God. You know, the position that we have attained in life is just by the glory of God. That means that hearing the sound of my voice. The reason why you've been called is just to the glory of God, not to any other thing. Beloved, I want to assure you, it's just by the grace of God. It's just by the glory of God. Beloved, in this December, let the glory of God reign in your heart. Let the glory of God reign in the body of Christ. Let the glory of God reign in the church. Let the glory of God reign all over the continent, all over the globe. Beloved, another solar Another solar is solar crystal. Solar crystal. Solar crystal. It means that by Christ's work alone are we saved. By Christ's work alone are we saved. There is one God. That is according to the scripture. There is one God. There is one mediator also between God and man. The man Christ Jesus who gave himself as a ransom for all. The testimony bore at the proper time, for he delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. And he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created by him and for him. And he is before all things. And, and in him all things hold together. He is also head of the body, the church. And he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. So that he himself might come to have first place in everything. First Timothy 2, the verse 5 to 6. Colossians 1, the verse 13 through 18. Beloved, it is by Christ alone that we are saved. Not by any good works. It is Christ alone that you and I can cry, Abba, Father. It is through Christ that we had forgiveness of sins. His body was used as a ransom for you and I. Beloved, in this Christmas, because Christ came to save the world, there is one thing that I want to assure you. In this Christmas, learn how to forgive. This Christmas, let the forgiveness of God be in your heart. Maybe your parents have offended you. Maybe a sibling or a brother has offended you. Maybe somebody has said something bad about you. Beloved, because you have this soulless inside of you, let it go and let Christ alone be your head. Let it go and let Christ alone lead. Beloved, this is, so, this is solar Christus. It means that it's through Christ that you and I have been saved, not by any otherwise. Beloved, you and I can testify like one of the days. When our parents led us to these dumb idols, by through Christ, you and I have been saved. Beloved, this Christmas, let Christ alone reign in your household. No sacrifice unto any other idol, but let Christ alone reign. Let Christ alone reign. Beloved, the other solar that I want to share with you is what we call solar gracia. Salvation by grace alone. Salvation by grace alone. According to the scripture, he says that, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly place in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us to adoption as sons through Jesus Christ to himself. According to the keen intention of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. 
In him, this is the key, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us. Ephesians chapter 1, the verse 3 through 8. Beloved, this is the grace of God, the grace of God, the unmerited favor. Beloved, Christ's blood was used as a ransom again for you and I. This Jesus Christ is what we are serving and worshiping this end time. Beloved, if there is anything at all that we need, beloved, it's just the grace of God. In this Christmas, as we celebrate the birth of Christ, beloved, may the grace of God fill your household. May the grace of God fill the body of Christ. That person hearing the sound of my voice, let this be your prayer. Say, God, may your grace be sufficient for me. May your grace abound for me and my friends. May your grace abound for the body of Christ. May the grace of God abound for all ministers of the gospel. I am talking about the grace of God. The grace of God that surpasses all understanding is all that we need in this Christmas. It's not about fight. It's not about squabble. It's not about insult. It's about the grace of God. The grace of God is his peace. The grace of God is his love. The grace of God it is, it is perfection that he showed towards us. That through him we are saved. Beloved, is the grace of God in this Christmas. Another solar that I want to share with you is the solar fide. Solar fide. We are being justified by faith alone. The scripture says that even so Abraham believed God. And it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Therefore be sure that it, it is those who are of faith who are sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the nations shall be blessed in you. So then those who are of faith are blessed with, with Abraham. The believer, for as many as are of the works of the law, are under a curse. For it is written, Curse is everyone who does not abide by all things, written in the book of the law, to perform them, now that no one is justified by the law before God is evident. For the key is here. The righteous man shall live by faith. Galatians 3, the verse 6 through 11. Galatians 3, the verse 6 through 11. Beloved, when we talk about solar fide, the justification by faith alone, all that it means is that the righteousness of God is a faith that we have in Christ Jesus. Abraham believed in the Lord God and he was crowned as a father of righteousness, as a father of faith. Beloved, in this Christmas, walk in faith. Beloved, in this Christmas, walk in faith. Walk in faith by extending arms to someone. Walk in faith by extending arms to the orphan. Walk in faith by extending arms to the widow. Walk in faith by extending arms... To all the widowers. Walk in faith by extending arms to the brother that you've not, to the sister, to the body of Christ that you've not extended arms before. Beloved, in this Christmas, learn how to appreciate one another. It could be giving of gifts. It could be blessing somebody's life with what God has entrusted in your hands. It could be even praying for someone. Beloved, let this soulless be our guide. Let this solace lead us in this month of Christmas. This Christmas is not about fight. It's not about insult. It's, it's not about a brother to a brother fight. It's not about a, 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 a minister or a pastor to a pastor fight. This Christmas indeed recall us that Christ is indeed born. The Savior is born. The Savior is with us again. And through that, the scripture alone should be our guide. The word of God alone should be our guide. Beloved, another thing that has to be our guide is that, oh, faith alone should be our guide. The glory of God alone should be our guide. The grace of God should be our guide. The faith of God should be our guide. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice, as I pray with somebody today, whom have you purpose on your heart to extend arms to? Whom have you purpose on your heart to give gifts to? Beloved, 
May the Lord bless somebody hearing the sound of my voice today. I pray all over the group, through the grace of God, and through the faith that we have in Christ Jesus, and through Christ alone, I pray that whatever demonic activities that have been assigned this Christmas, all over the airways, all over the highways, all over the seaways, everywhere, we come against all forms of accident in the name of Jesus Christ. As we celebrate this Christmas, which is the birth of Christ, beloved, let this solace be your hallmark. There is somebody hearing the sound of my voice. You are still sick on that bed. Through faith, you are healed. Through faith, you are healed. You've been experiencing serious abdominal pains. You cannot do anything of yourself. You've been so weak. I pray that receive that strength of Christ. Receive that strength of Christ. It takes only the word of God to be healed. It takes only the word of God to be healed. May you be healed, yes. Now begin to do what you couldn't do to the glory of God. Now as I lift up prayer once again, I cancel and nullify all forms of premature death, every untimely death for the body of Christ. Beloved, I pray in this Christmas that the blood of Jesus Christ that was poured on Gavre, that was poured on Gogota, be sprinkled all over our household, be sprinkled all over the continent, be sprinkled all over the globe. And all that we are praying for is the peace of God. Through all these solace, we are praying that the peace of God prevail for families. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice, you are indeed seeking for divorce. Beloved, I pray that whatever misunderstanding that is going through that marriage, I pray that the peace of God prevail. The peace of God prevail. The peace of God prevail. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice, it's your servant, Ari Kamangwa, once again, bringing you hour of prayer and truth. I say Merry Christmas to anybody hearing the sound of my voice. I say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and prosperous New Year. I say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. All of us shall cross over onto the year 2023. And whatever thing that the devil and his court have assigned ahead of us, we nullify everything by the blood of Jesus Christ. Brethren, you are blessed. Beloved, you are blessed. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance over your life. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord give you peace. A shalom. A shalom. A shalom. Bye-bye.